Hey guys, how's it going? It's Berto Boyd here today. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to learn the notes on the fretboard. And first things first, we're gonna learn where the natural half steps are. So if you've ever seen a piano, you've noticed that there's two white keys without a black key in between. Those are what we call the natural half steps. And in the C major scale, in the natural scale, no sharps or flats, natural half steps fall between the notes E and F and B and C. So repeat that, E and F, B and C, E and F, B and C. Since there's 12 frets from here up to here, we are going to split it up in three different places. So first position, fifth position, and then ninth position. We're gonna start with the first string, E, F, G. Shift to the fifth position, A, B, C. Shift to the ninth position and play the 10th fret with the middle finger, D and E. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Congratulations, you just learned the notes on the first string. Okay, second string, here we go. We have B, C, and D. Shift to the fifth position, E, F, G. Shift to the ninth position, play A with the second finger and B with the pinky. All right, moving on to the third string, we're gonna go in first position, open G, A with the second finger, B with the fourth finger. Now we're gonna to shift to the fifth position and play the C with the first finger and the D with the third finger. Now we shift to the ninth position with the first finger and play the E, and there's the F, there's that half step, and then there's the G. So we have G, A, B, Okay, moving on to the fourth string. First position, here we go. D, E, and F. There's our half step. D, E, F, okay? Now we have G and A. Now we shift to the ninth position. Now we have B. Here's our half step. There's B and C. And then there's D. So once again on the fourth string, D, E, F. There's that half step. G to A. Now, ninth position, B, C, and D. Okay, moving on to the fifth string. Now we're gonna go A to A. Starting in the first position, we're gonna go A, B, and C. There's our first half step, A, B, C. Now shift to the fifth position, D, E, and F. So on seventh fret and eighth fret, there's our E and F. Now we shift to the ninth position with our second finger. Uh, ninth position here, but I'm gonna play the G with the second finger and the A with the pinky. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so the sixth string is like the first string. They're both E notes, but we'll go ahead and do it again. So E, F, and G, shift fifth position, A, B, C, and now D and E. So the next thing I'd like to do is explain the cage sequence. So the cage sequence is a series of open chords that we use all the time, but each one of these chords kind of outlines a certain area up the fretboard. So if we look at the open chords, we have our C chord, we have our A chord, we have our G chord, we have our E chord, and then we have our D chord. So each one of these chords is a movable shape. So for instance, if I play an E chord here and I move that up a half step, now I have an F chord. If I move it up another whole step, then I have a, a G chord, right? So with each one of these shapes, there's a scale that goes with it. So in the C shape, we're gonna name these notes out loud and you gotta remember what your half steps are, E and F and B and C. So here we go. E and F, there's the first half step. There's G. Now fifth string, A, B and C, there's our, our half step. Now fourth string, D, E and F, there's our other half step. Now third string is only two notes, G and A. Now we go to the second string, B, C, there's our little half step. There's a D. 
Now to the first string, open E, there's our half step, and then to G. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right, so that is the C shape. So the next one is the A shaped chord. This is a C chord, but it's an A shape. So if I took the A like this and I moved it up, this one, it starts in the second position, but we start with the second finger on the G note here. So here we go. G, A, B, C, there's that half step, D. So G, A, B, C, D. Now we go to the fourth string, E, F, there's our half step, and then there's a G. Third string now, A, B, C, there's our half step. Now we shift to the third fret, D, and then E, and you guessed it, E and F. There's our next half step, and then G, and then A. So we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Good. Okay, so the next is the G shape, right? This isn't really a very common chord to play like that because it's kind of big like that. A lot of people will just play it like that. But the idea is to see the shape and see the scale that corresponds with the shape. So this one has a couple different shifts. We're going to start at the fifth position with the A note. And remember, we're going to be looking for those natural half steps, B and C and E and F. So here we go. A, B, C. There's our first half step. So five, seven, eight. Okay, now fifth string, D, E, and F. There's our next half step. Now only two notes on the fourth string now, G and A. Now we go to the third string, B and C. There's our half step, B, C, D, right? Now we go to the second string, E and F. There's our half step, E, F, G. And then first string, A, B, and C. There's our other half step. So. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so now for the E shape. So the, the chord is here, but the scale is all at the seventh position, right? So we start with, you can start with the first finger on B. So we have B, C, and D. So you see, we start with that half step. B, C, D. Now for the fifth string, E and F. There's our half step. E, F, G. Fourth string, A, B, and C. So A, B, C. Same thing on the next string. So D, E, and F. There's our little half step. Now two notes on the second string, G and A. Now first string, B, C. There's our half step. And then there's D. So name those notes out loud. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Good job. Okay, so for our last shape, the D shape. This one starts at the 10th fret on the D note. This one has quite a few shifts. So here we go. D, E, F. Right, there's our half step, D, E, F. Now we're going to the fifth string, 10th fret, G and A, only two notes there. Now we're gonna shift back to the ninth fret for our B and C, and then our D, so B, C, D. Same thing now on the third string, E and F, there's our half step, E, F, G. Now we shift forward one note to the 10th fret, A, B and C, there's our half step, A, B, C. First string, same thing, D, E, F, there's our half step. So, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. There it is. I hope you guys got something out of this today. Make sure to smash that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what else you would like to see. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Alba Guitar Beads, a really cool company in Spain that makes these guitar beads that... Uh, 
really help create uh, more tension on the guitar. So rather than doing the traditional tie and having this, the string pulling up, this, uh, you have the string going directly from the saddle all the way to the hole, so it creates more tension of what they call a breaking point. If you use my discount code BERTO10, you'll get 10% off. So there it is. Check it out. They're a new company from Spain. And um, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.